What we're going to be doing today is looking at an editing program that's free. We usually use Premiere, Adobe Premiere, uh, but obviously that costs a lot of money. So this came with Windows 7 and it's Windows Live Movie Maker. And I haven't used it before, so I'm going to get to grips with it as I actually edit this tip. So let's have a look. Right, so I've imported the first shot. Now I'm going to import the second one, the, the one that we're filming now. So I've got something to edit between. Okay, so what you have to do is pull your shots over here to this box. And this is the first thing I don't really like about this program, is that there's no timeline. Each of your shots is represented by these um, thumbnails here. So, just have a look. It's got a bit of an itchy cock. So, that cock thing flared up again. Oh, yeah. um, I don't really want that. I want to edit that out of the actual shot. So let's see what the editing tools are like. Right, it looks like we've got two editing tools. One's the split tool and one's the trim tool. So I'm going to try, first of all, the trim tool. First of all, you click on the one I think that you want and then press the trim tool. So you move these sliders. These are going to be your in and out points and then that will cut your shot to the length that you want it cut out any bits that you don't like. Oh, what are you doing? Um, it's got a bit of an itchy cock. So I don't want that. Um, I want to go back to about there and then I'm going to slide this back. Uh, that for some reason is moving. Um, <laughs> but that seems like the worst way to, to edit anything. So that's that with the editing. Just one last point actually is that it, you have to move your clips around to get them in the right order. Um, the other thing I noticed here on the editing tools is that there is a speed option. Uh, I just tried previewing it and uh, it wouldn't work. So this next part that I'm doing, I'm going to speed it up times four. Okay, so one thing I like is a nice fade. So I'm going to see what transitions there are, see if there are any transitions. In fact, I do know there are transitions because I found them in the animation thing. And this is one thing you can actually preview. Uh, so there we go. Let's sort of see what else we've got. So there's a lovely start. In fact, the next one, the next fade to the next shot will be with a um, love heart. Okay, so that seems to be about all that we can do, uh, except I've gone to the home page here, there's a few extra bits here. Um, you can le rotate the picture left and right, which I really don't see the point of. Or we can add some music. And um, I'm going to have to put some screen grabs in here so that you can see more clearly what we've been doing. Um, obviously you've seen those already hopefully because I've edited them in and also we've got the option to do titles and credits and captions as well. So it seems to me that if you've just got some video clips and you want to assemble them in a rough order maybe give them a bit of trim and a title then uh, Windows Live Movie Maker will just about do the job if there's nothing else available. Uh, but if you want to make a proper film, I'd find something else because this is uh, really very basic and uh, not very good. In fact, I would go so far as to call it a piece of fucking shit. <laughs>